In this video, I am going to discuss about the applications of the weight of evidence and the information value. In the previous videos, we have seen how to uh, calculate the weight of evidence and the information value. So the question arises, why do we, we use the weight of evidence and the information values? How does it help us uh, building uh, better statistical models? So uh, remember in the first uh, video on weight of evidence, we have taken uh, an example. Um, the model is like this, the customer type is the dependent variable and age is the independent variable. Uh, but we uh, did a transformation of the independent variable. So instead of age, uh, we have now eight underscore age underscore WOE. So this is the WOE transformation of the variable age. Now uh, we have a new model customer type um, is the dependent variable and age underscore wo is the depend, uh, independent variable. So how does the second model is better than the first model or how does second model address some of the issues that we might face in the first model. So that is the main purpose of uh, doing the WA transformation and uh, what are the um, main reasons why we do that. The first reason why we do that is to maintain monotonicity. So we will talk about what is monotonicity and why it is so important. The uh, next important thing is that it helps in treating the missing values. So we can treat the missing values very easily uh, by uh, doing a, a WA transformation of the independent variables. It also helps dealing with outliers. So we can uh, deal with outliers effectively using the uh, WA transformations. We can also compare the strength of variables and we will see that later. So let us, uh, let us see uh, each of these advantages in little more detail. So what is the uh, assumption of monotonicity? Well, it is always assumed that the dependent variable is monotonically uh, tonically related to the independent variable. So what does that mean? Uh, for example, we have uh, the dependent variable as customer type and the independent variable is age. Now uh, intuitively, uh, the uh, customer tend to be a good customer with increase in age. People tend to be a better customer uh, with increase in age. So this has been seen. Uh, so what we expect is that with increase in the age, the uh, weight is the weight, the weight of evidence should increase ideally. The assumption of monotonicity says that uh, the customer tend to be a good customer with increase in age. That means uh, out of the three groupings that we have, uh, the most uh, likely that uh, a customer is going to be a bad customer uh, will be highest when the age group is less than 25. And when it uh, the age uh, is increasing, uh, that means in the second group, the uh, probability or chances that a customer is going to be a better customer, uh, good customer, is uh, higher. And uh, in the last group, greater than 30, it will be even higher. So the, the intuitively, we can uh, say that uh, the uh, very independent variable age has a monotonic relationship with the dependent variable. Similarly, income. Now, uh, it is uh, common sense that with increase in income, a customer is more likely to be a good customer. In WA transformation of income, we also need to see that whether it follows monotonic relationship or not. How do we see monotonic relationship by looking at the WA values? So let us take this example. We have age group in place and we have the corresponding uh, weight of evidence values. Now, as expected, the least weight uh, the least weight is there in the age group less than 25, which is minus 0.2 and it increases with uh, increase in age. So we have got 0.09 for 25 to 30 age group and 0.27 for greater than 30. That means the weight or the importance of the fact that with increase in age, uh, the chances that somebody is going to be better customer or good customer is actually increasing. So it should not happen that it is increasing, then decreasing, and then increasing. So that thing uh, should not be there. 
and with WA transformation it is ensured that that monotonicity trans, uh, relationship is maintained. So WA transformation happen in such a way that uh, the monotonicity uh, assumption is maintained. So uh, the question arises here that uh, how it is uh, guaranteed that the relationship will be always monotonic. Well that will uh, depend on so many things. First thing is the grouping. So we have done manual grouping in this case. So we have uh, done a manual grouping but uh, the actual algorithm in most of the statistical software ensures that uh, the monotonicity assumption is made. So the grouping uh, will not be uh, manual in nature. It will be um, it will be done by an algorithm which will ensure uh, that the monotonicity assumption is made. So that's about monotonicity assumption. We can check it with other variables like income or any other variable, and uh, that really helps understanding the relationship between two variables and helps in interpreting the results as well. The next important thing is that uh, the missing value treatment. Now let us take an example. Uh, what I have done is that I have just replaced the values greater than 30 uh, with the missing values. So let's assume that these values are missing in nature. Uh, so how does uh, WA transformation help us in treating the missing values? Well, the WA transformations uh, treats the missing value as a different category. Now in the groupings you can see that uh, we have got A is less than 25 and then A is between 25 to 30 and the final uh, grouping is the uh, missing value. So that itself is a different group. So what happens is that we will get uh, the WA values for uh, A is less than 25, A is between 25 to 30 and missing value. So we have a weight for missing value as well. So uh, when we use the transform variables, uh, we will use the weight 0.27 for the missing value cases. So the highlighted values here are were actually missing value in the original variable. Now with transformation, they have a value. So now in our data set, we do not we do not have any missing values. So we can easily overcome the problem of missing values by using WA uh, values. And in credit scorings, uh, we will have uh, missing values in almost all variables. So this uh, transformation is very important in uh, credit scoring and other logistic regression models. The next important use of uh, WA transformation is uh, to uh, treat outliers effectively. So let us take an example here. I have changed one values uh, from the previous data. So uh, one of the data that uh, one of the observation that we have. So one of the customer has a uh, age of 68. So most of the other observations lie between 20 to uh, 35 and only one observation is uh, 68. So that observation or that customer can be treated as a outlier. Now if you do not do any tr uh, transformation and use the original variable that observation cannot be uh, used in the model because uh, it is significantly different than the other observations or it's significantly more than the mean of uh, rest of the observations. So how do we handle this using transformations? Now we have transformed the variable age to age underscore WA. So we have got the WA values for less than 25 uh, and then group 25 to 30 and greater than 30. So all observations falling in the category of greater than 30 uh, will get uh, an weight of 0.27. So now you see that uh, in, in place of 68 in the transform variables we have 0.477. So if the age is 40 we have got 0 0.0477 that's the weight. If the age is 68 also we get the same weight 0 0.047 because these two observations fall in the same grouping and that's an advantage because we do not need to treat the outlier because the outlier itself is taken in a group and uh, it gets the weight of that particular group. So there is no outlier anymore in the transform variables. So we can use uh, the transform variables without uh, worrying about the um, adverse impact of outliers. One of the most important use of information value that I have already mentioned is uh, variable reduction. Uh, in logistic regression model, uh, especially in uh, uh, credit scoring uh, models, we will be getting uh, more than 
thousand variables in in a real time data so how do we uh, use this thousand variables to come up with the best set of variables we cannot use more than 10 to 20 variables in our model so this 20 variables should be uh, the uh, uh, variables having highest strength of uh, prediction this variable should be highly related to the dependent variable for example uh, let's say we want to build a, a model with customer type and we have got three independent variables now out of the three independent variable um, we are supposed to use uh, let's assume that two variables so how do we select the best two variables out of these three variables well we can just compare the information values and take those variables having comparatively higher information value so age and income will be selected out of these three variables because these two variables are having more information value compared to the third variable so these are the basic uses of uh, information value and the weight of evidence that that there, there are also more uses of uh, these variables in the next video we will learn how to how to write a code in sas um, which will calculate the weight of evidence and the information value so do watch the next video